you're winning races, there's a good chance your missus is going to wear that special outfit you like. Alright guys, how's it going? Pitbike Sonic here. Um, so last episode you guys saw the engine going in, or the engine being rebuilt, shall I say, on the uh, CW or my 2024 race bike. Um, yeah, went all smoothly as you saw in the video. Hopefully you guys got some hints and tips from that video as well. Um, so yeah, really good. Um, I've put the engine in now. The engine is already in. There's a few little things we've got to do. We've got to put the carb, in, uh, carb on yet. Uh, put the chain on. Put the right gearing on because we're going to Ella Park tomorrow. Um, so we're just going to get those few things done. I was meant to film um, me putting the engine in yesterday. I did it at work. But stupid me. I've got brand new camera here. So hopefully... Um, we're in 4K now, so hopefully this is uh, all nice and clear for you guys. Re, really, thank you to the subscriber who does not want to be named um, for buying me this new Lumex G8 camera. It's fantastic. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys can see the, the quality difference in the video. But anyway, yeah, so I did put the engine back in at work last night. I was meant to film it, but I bloody left the memory card um, at home, so I never filmed it. But I'm just going to show you guys um, the last few little bits that we've got to do and um, uh, just the finished, finished article of the bike. So, yeah, let's uh, show you guys what the bike looks like now and just the last few things we've got to do. Right, so here's the bike now. As you can see, engine's all in. Um, we've got to put the carb on and the chain on yet uh, to finish it off. I've put the newer exhaust back on and I still haven't got this right. I still think this, the end can is going to fall off again. I might have to ride to Scorpion and see if they can get us a new one because uh, it's still not great. It's, it still moves on this bracket. It's, I think it's a terrible design. What happened to the old fashioned strap that you used to get? But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm maybe going to have to ask for a new one, or I don't know if you can weld this and these two metals together. We'll see. Um, but yeah, she's engine's all back in now. Haven't started it yet. I've got to put some oil in it, um, and then obviously tomorrow, so that'd be next week's episode. We're going to go up Ella Park and just run the engine in. Just do some really slow, uh, low rev sessions. Dump the oil, put some fresh oil in, and then um, yeah, get ready to go again. So. Yeah, she's already a go. There's a few little bits more to do. Um, a little, a few more little things I want to do. A little, a few more um, bling bits as well. I'm going to get a carbon fibre flywheel cover because this one's a bit worn. I'll probably get that one sprayed. Um, I've got some new brake pads on order. Um, and I'm going to put a new rental chain on as well. So, yeah, apart from that, she's pretty much ready to go. So... Yeah, we'll get these final bits on. I'm going to clean the carb out before I put it back on. Uh, put the correct gear on for Ella tomorrow. Um, it'll be a 1639. It is a 1640 Ella, but um, it's 1639 for Spain, and we're not going to be going quick tomorrow, so I'm not worried about being one tooth out. But yeah, guys, let's uh, let's get these little bits done. Also, M2R over there, that's going to have a play tomorrow, because I did say in an earlier video that we need to check if those wheels um, are going to help that like bobbin I said we had like where it's just vibrating down the straight so we'll see if that's fixed that's got R's on it so they're going to be good tyres for the nice cold January weather tomorrow right so we've done those final few things clean the carb out put that back on uh, put the chain sprockets on um, and she's all ready to go so this is going to be the first start of 2024 let's see how many kicks it takes uh, this is true look hands on the exhaust it is it's cold look so i haven't started before this is going to be the first time with the new sean engine let's see how many kicks it takes Right, so that's not a good start. Um, better check, see if we've got a spark.
24 hours later. Good evening guys, or good evening, good morning here guys. Pit Bike Sonic, first day of 2024, back on track. Uh, we're here at Ella Park and we're, we're not doing, we're not here to set any lap records. It is bloody freezing cold and it's still a bit damp out on track, but we can just check that everything else is going well with the bikes. So we've got Pit Bike Sonic bike there. We're gonna make sure we've got that horrible, um, vibration down the straight gone and then we've got the CW the 2024 race bike and we're just running the engine in on that um, it's not actually that bad for a, a January day um, in Norfolk so quite happy with that so yeah bikes are already here and uh, we're gonna go out on track not to have too much fun really just uh, run these engines in make get everything ready for 2024 Then all set up, ready to go. A few more little things to do on the CW, a few bling bits. We've got new brake pads on the way. Um, thanks to Kai at KHR Motorcycles for supplying them. We've also got, um, we're getting a carbon fiber cover um, for the sprocket side, because uh, that one's getting a bit warm, looks a bit horrible. And then on the Pit by Sonic's bike, not a lot to do really. We're gonna get a carbon fiber cover for that as well. Um, I'll give you an update of what's happening with the Pit by Sonic laps um, at the end of the day. Just things like um, guys that can come back, have another go this season, uh, and also a way that you can uh, get a free go at doing my Pit by Sonic Hot Laps Challenge. We'll discuss that all at the end of the day, and also we're making some changes to the mic um, to see make the lap times a little better so anyone who does has had a go so far can come back and probably go a little bit quicker with a, a gearing change that we're going to do so yeah they're the two bikes we're going to go out now i'm probably going to go out on this first because this has got ours on and it still is a little damp out on track so we're going to go out on this first see if she's running all right and make sure she's all good for wendy uh for benedorn in a in about a month's time now so yeah let's get out on track Right, so we've done our first little session on the M2R first. It's running brilliant, absolutely mega. It was definitely the uh, front wheel uh, or the wheels that were the problem because it is dead straight. The bike is running mint. So uh, Reese, my boss, and Ash, who I work with, are gonna go out and have some fun on that for the rest of the day. I am now gonna run the CW in. Um, we're gonna do two 10 minute sessions with a cool down in between, and then we're gonna drain the oil out. So that's all ready to go for Spain then. But yeah, there's a nice group of us here today. Um, who have we got here? We've got Izzy Mini Rossi over there. We've also got another girl called Kim here, and uh, Scott, and uh, a few other lads here today. So it's quite busy. We're gonna have like a regular um, group that come up here at Ellen now um, in the evenings between four and seven. Um, if you want to join our WhatsApp group, if you're local to Ella Park, so you want to come down and do some track time, just give me a message uh, or comment below. Just message me on Instagram or Facebook and I'll get you added to the WhatsApp group so you know what times um, we're always going to be here up Ella Park. So yeah, get in contact with me guys. So we've done our two easy sessions on the CW. Uh, she's all ready now for the oil change. Sorry, I haven't been filming a lot, guys. I ain't got anyone to film me here today, so it's a shame when we've got the new camera, but hey-ho. Um, so there's the bike there. Now gonna give her service, just get it all ready now. And then we're gonna see, just if we've got time, because we are getting there near the end of the day, if we've got time just to give it one fast-ish session so let's get the oil changed and uh, see if we've got time to go back out again so that guys is really good um, we've got very little metal on top of the uh, on top of the uh, sump plug there so that's really good 
uh, really pleased with that. Get this oil changed, put some fresh stuff in, and away we go. Right, so that's the oil out, guys. Um, we're now going to put the fresh stuff in, guys. And just remember, always use your 7 1 racing oil, pit bike designed racing oil. Um, like I said guys, if you're using this, you're probably going to be winning races and if you're winning races, there's a good chance your missus is going to wear that special outfit you like. So make sure guys, when you're racing pit bikes, always to use your 7-1 racing oil. So without an oil cooler, I run about 700 mil. So let's put this stuff in, ready to go give it some laps around Ella. Alright guys, so that's the end of the day here at Ella Park. Sorry I haven't done a lot of filming, I've pretty much done no filming on track unfortunately. Uh, I haven't had anyone here, Wendy's at work and is ill so yeah I've had no one really helping out but we got everything done we needed to so the, the CW is all running. It's a bit fluffy at the bottom, um, it's just got a bit at the bottom but when I was out on track I never really noticed it because I never went that low but I think that's more of a car problem than um, then a problem with the engine. The engine feels really strong, so that's always good. So yeah, all done. The uh, the Pit Boy Sonic bike that felt really good as well, even though the threads in the Parker caliper bracket are knackered. So we'll either go have to put some helicoils in that, or we are going to have to get another one. So we'll see. We'll see. Now Parker started making them again. Uh, we'll probably get a new one. But apart from that, that bike went really well. The the wheels were definitely the problem with that. In it doesn't vibrate when you're going down the straight. So that bike's already to go for the pit bike sonic hot laps again um, which i'm going to tell you some more information about in a second right guys so i didn't get to finish that vlog off um i got in the van and they were just closing the gate so i just drove home right so where we left off i was just about to tell you guys um what's happening with the pit bike sonic challenge this year so basically Anyone who did it last year uh, can come do it again. You get one more go at it. You always get one go a year. Um, so, yeah, you guys can come back and have another go because we are going to be changing the gearing. There is the precise gearing this season, uh, this year, for um, Ella Park training track, as I like to call it. Uh, so it was, we were running the 1639, now we can put a 1640 on, which just gives you that little bit more oomph out the corners. So it is a 1640 this year. Also, I'm going to be running three categories. You'll all still be in the same leaderboard, but in brackets you'll have the category that you're in. So we're going to be running an over 45s. We're going to be running a ladies category. And we're also going to be running a BSB category category and then at the end of the season at the Ella Park do um, I'll be giving trophies out for the three three different winners from each category and then an overall one as well so we got BSB over 45s and a ladies category as well so yeah they're all the new pit bike sonic rules I hope to see loads of you guys coming to do it I will put dates out of when I'm going to be up Ella and you can book yourself in um, to come have a go um, it's very cheap. I think it's going to be about 25 quid you'll get for the using the track for the day. And then I just charge another 35 quid for using the bike. And that's all in whether for with crash damage, fuel and just use of the bike. So, yeah, 35 quid to me and then 25 quid to the track. So, yeah, there are all the new Pit Bike Sonic rules, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video showing you guys how to run the bike in so just to go over you do a 10 minute session all low revs just nice and slow not thrashing the bike come in let the engine cool completely down go out do another 10 minute session low revs nice and easy drain that oil out get your 7-1 racing oil stick that in and then you can uh, go blitz the bike i would recommend though after a few more sessions as well check your valve clearances make sure that they've stayed in the place uh, stayed in the right place um, since when you got the new engine you should check them before you go out but just make sure that they're in the right place as well so yeah that is the bike all done I got my new brake pads TRW brake pads we've got so yeah we've got some nice new brake pads we're going to try them out in the CW if they're good then we'll put them in the pit bike sonic bike as well so that's everything guys um, next week's video is going to be something um, totally different um, it's not even really bike related well there will be a tiny bit but not a lot so hopefully um, you'll stick around to watch that cheers guys for watching if you've enjoyed watching this video please give the thumbs up 
below um, to watch some more videos hit this button here and if you haven't already subscribed please please hit this button here thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all again for next week's vlog bye bye